Hi, I'm Linda. Today is Friday, June 1st, 2018. I had my extractions and immediate full upper denture on June 1st, 2017 at the age of 50. So today is my one year anniversary. The first few months, obviously it took some getting used to. It was a little like a roller coaster in the very beginning. I had watched a lot of YouTube videos, so I was somewhat prepared for what to expect, but it's going to be different for everybody. So the first six weeks, um, while I was learning how to eat and talk again, um, I didn't use any glue. And then about six weeks in, I had I had seen on YouTube where they, and even my dentist told me, about gum shrinkage that would make the denture fit, not, not fit properly. Uh, that happened to me very suddenly, pretty much overnight in the middle of July. So that was six weeks in. That's when I started using adhesive. And from mid-July until October 9th, when I got my hard reline, uh, I had to use the glue. So I was using Fix-A-Dent powder um, and, and eventually I found I was pointed to the polygrip, super polygrip powder, which I preferred to the fix a -dent powder. Um, I tried the Seabon seals, I didn't care for them. And the polygrip glue, they call it crane, that I had been given by my dentist. I really preferred the powders when I had to use the glue. So October 9th, we got the hard reline. It wasn't a good experience. October 24th, I um, got some adjustments made to it, and from there on out, things just progressively continued to get better until I became very comfortable with the denture when I have to wear it to eat and to be out in public. But when I'm at home, I don't wear it. It's just not comfortable for me. It's like my shoes. I'd rather take it off when I'm in the house. So... Um, I've never mentioned, well, it's an immediate denture, so that implies temporary. This is a temporary denture. It's not my permanent. So the fact that the bite is not perfect. I didn't hold my teeth together properly when I was getting the impression for the hard reline. And... To put my teeth together, I can do it in a couple of different ways as I'm sort of showing you. I have to sort of move my bottom jaw around to get them to line up properly. And I'm not gonna let that happen when I get my permanent denture, but you know, I'm saving up for it because it's, it's gonna cost me some money. So um, I kept promising that on my first anniversary, I would come in and give an update. So I do wanna say, Happy birthday to my teeth. I think, you know, I think it's it's working out pretty well. It's much better than the alternative, which if you've looked in my, my May videos from 2017, I only had five top teeth and most of them were loose. So I couldn't have continued that way. This, you know, was affordable and it um, it it's a suitable alternative considering I can't afford implants or an all on four or anything like that. The denture was reasonable. I've gotten used to it. It helps me eat my crunchy foods like celery and salads and you know stuff that I had really missed. Cucumbers, raw peppers, raw onions, um, Cheeto, um, not Cheetos because that's what I was eating, the puffs, but Doritos and Cheez-Its and Pringles and um, corn on the cob. So we got some early corn this season and I had to glue them in because the pressure on the front tends to dislodge that the denture. So apples and I don't bite into my apples, but I do cut them up and they're so tasty and delicious. And um, for the corn, I glued and I'll continue to glue because I love corn on the cob. And I missed eating it for many years when my teeth, I was too worried that it was going to just loosen them further or just pull them out altogether. So 
um, they serve their purpose. You know, I would recommend this to anyone who was in, who was in, is in my the position I was in with loose teeth and falling out and eventually a front one dropped out and I had a big gap and, and I just couldn't go through life that way. And if you're contemplating getting a denture and you've been watching my videos, I definitely hope I've helped you. I do recommend it. Um, I'm pleased with my smile and the ability to eat again and, and to speak. Um, I had it actually stopped singing in my car when my teeth were loose because with every word there was vibration and I knew the vibration was you know an indication that they were further loosening and since I at, at my work at the time I was on the phone all day with customers I sort of had to save my words and, and make the teeth last as much as I could so I'm singing in the car again. My confidence has come back. I had really um, introverted myself when I didn't feel like I could speak or smile or open my mouth. Um, I do feel a lot more confident and um, I'm happy. Um, I hope I'm helping and I don't know when I'm gonna ever make another video because um, I documented my journey. Oh, when I get my permanence. I guess when I get my permanence, I'll come in and let you see how they look. All right. Have a great summer and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.